<laughs> first, I want to welcome you to uh, Morning Coffee with me, Ivan Sutton. Of course, this is the first one for the year, uh, 2022. I'm, I think I've gotten used to saying it, 2022, right? How many people remember that TV show back in the old days called Room 222? Wow, I'm old. Okay. <laughs> Forget that one. No. Well, I want to talk about uh, setting goals. And of course, I called it the um, time capsule. Okay. This is a goals time capsule where we're going to look back on, Jan on January 2nd, 2023, uh, at the goals that we set uh, January 3rd, 2022, and see how we did. Right. <laughs> but it's not as simple as you think because it's so easy to say, I'm going to set my goals for business. I'd like to grow by 10%. I'd like to do this and that and the other. But I'm going to hit you in three, uh, four areas. All right. So I want you to think about this. And if you want to, you can write this down because it is being recorded. <laughs> so we are definitely going to uh, hold you accountable. So what are your two main financial goals for 2022? Your two main financial goals for 2022. All right, go ahead and write those down. Your two main financial goals. Mm, 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 mm. Catherine, that is a good coffee. All right, okay. So next, write down what are your two main business goals? I like to see Maggie. She just bangs them out. Bang, bang. I got them. Good. <laughs> All right. Then what are your two main family goals for 2022? And then last of all, what are your three main personal goals? Just you goals for 2022. And I know that our business, business coaches are all finishing this up fast because they know this, this stuff. <laughs> so, um, okay. So to all of those who have finished, All righty then. Okay. So, um, is there anybody not finished? Good morning, Terry. All right. So, I'm assuming that everybody's done. Okay. So, now that you've written those down, I want you to take a look at those goals. Take a look at them, right, in their entirety. And uh, how many people just got stressed out? <laughs> okay, good. All right. So uh, the other question then is what, and I want you to share this with me, this part, what is your reward, Jackie? What is your reward if you achieve your goals within 2022? I'm going on a trip. <clears throat> Wonderful. Where are you going? Uh, I would like say to left bridge. to Japan. Okay. <laughs> no. Japan is next on the list. Okay. That is worth achieving whatever the goal is. Fantastic. Sheila. Um, a trip to France. Oh, wonderful. All right, Catherine. Anywhere other than Hamilton. <laughs> All right. Come on, Catherine. If you could go anywhere, where would you oh, go? Oh, I want I want to go on I want to go on vacation to the Dominican. I've been I had to cancel this year. There you go. All right, all right. How about um, how about you, Terry? If oh, so, Terry, you came in late. I I, I basically asked everybody to write down uh, their two main financial goals. I have it all down. Perfect. Oh, you do. Okay. Awesome. Have, okay, very good. Ready for this. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. You are that person for sure. I apologize so, for being late. I apologize. No, no worries. Now, if you achieve your goals, where would, what would you do? Uh, what would your reward be to yourself? Uh, my reward is I'm going to spend the winter somewhere warm next year. Okay. That is my reward. All right. All right. Either I Texas. Have... It's looking like Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. I love Texas. Okay. All right, Adam. 
I uh, haven't set up a specific award for myself, but it would definitely be to go on vacation somewhere because haven't done that in a couple of years like the rest of us. Fascinating. Where are you going? Where to? I'm not sure yet. I, I don't know if I'd like to go to a, on a destination vacation. I think I'd like a mixture between a destination vacation and something where I take in a little more of the culture. All right. That sounds awesome. Okay, Maggie. Hey, well, definitely to travel, but see, with me, it's a little different because travel is part of my business. So I, when I travel, yeah, I'm having fun, but I'm also looking for ideas to write. So it's sort of an up in the air thing. Um, yeah. Well, we know California's in the picture too, right? Uh, actually, no. Uh, that hmm. otherwise, I'd be on my, I'd be on a plane. Well, I, or however I was going to get there, um, right about now. Okay. <laughs> uh, but the conference, uh, they can't. It was supposed to be starting Wednesday. They can't sell the in person part. Oh, um, so I'm not in California now. Eventually, I'll get there someday. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking right now, uh, and next year the conference will be in New Orleans. Which I'm really looking forward to. Right now, I'm looking at um, possibly Savannah, Georgia. Um, cool. Georgia's yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay. But I'm looking at, like, in the, oh, and I looked on the, on the Weather Channel the other day, and although it's a little above seasonal, it was like 77 degrees. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, and I'm thinking that I'm possibly going down to Florida afterwards somewhere. I Anything don't above 10 degrees is good with me, uh, Maggie, I got to tell you. All right. Okay, well, let, let's let's pick on – I'm going to pick on uh, Stephanie. Hi there. Um, I don't have any destination in mind or vacation in mind, but um, it would give me the freedom, ease, and stability that I need to um, go – and do whatever I want, invest in whatever I want, invest my time in whatever I want. So just more freedom overall. Yeah, freedom overall, for sure. Okay. Um, uh, Teresa, you there? Teresa. Teresa, Teresa. I always look for that uh, microphone to go off. There she is. I'm here. Um, okay, I don't really know what my goal is. I know there's a few travel things I want to do, which we talked about earlier, which is, you know, of course we drive everybody. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't like to fly. So we'd so be we drive. driving okay. basically a down to New York, going down to from New York, then going to the arc, which I think is in Kentucky and then going all the way down to um, California. And then we'd probably come up to Cary to visit family and then back. Through Lethbridge, of course. But anyway, it's a, <laughs> it's a long Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we, we, we want to go see the Ark. That's right. Yes. Everybody, you've heard of the Ark? Everybody's heard about, no? All right. Well, moving on. Noah's <laughs> Ark? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they built a, a life-size Noah's Ark. In, in, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. It's called so, the Ark Encounter. The Ark awesome. Encounter. Yeah, we're going to go see Sounds it. Sounds like a great thing to go to. That's right. Uh, so, uh, but but you know, we figure it's the mother of all road trips, right? From here to New York, then to the Ark, and then across to Denver, and then through the mountains, and then California, and then up. So, yeah. All right. Um, so, folks, listen. Now that you've thought about your goals and the reward that you'd have for yourself, okay, I now want you to think about. Uh, to help you, because, you know, I always want you to think about every aspect of things. So I want you to write down the two things that are the greatest obstacle to achieving your financial goals. What are the greatest obstacles? And then I want you to then write down the two things that are the greatest obstacles in the way of helping you, of you achieving your business goals. Okay, and then your the greatest obstacles in the way of you achieving your family goals. 
And the last one is, of course, the obstacles that are in your way that are obstacles for you achieving your personal goals. That's got to be the easiest uh, questions that you've asked. So I think the answers are all the same for each. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Pretty close. Other than Number. family, yeah. Yeah, I just wrote C above for last question. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, you're going to say something. I said number one is me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's keeping yourself in the right head space and getting out of your own way. Yeah. And all of them. <laughs> and, and I think the second part of that was my, the lack of my continuous emotional intelligence. Because mm -hmm. I end up snafuing a lot of a lot of what I'm trying to do, right? By losing that control of myself and, and whatever process. And that's where having a group that will pull you back quickly will help. Yeah, absolutely. And accountability. But yeah, for me, all that was kind of the, yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> well, because every, every obstacle you can overcome if you're in the right headspace and you're looking for solutions. Mm -hmm. It's when we get into problem trance that you, that you get in your own way because you're focused on the problems in front of you rather than seeking out the solutions. Did you say problem cramp? Problem trance. Oh, I, I just thought, what a great phrase. I'm going to use it since it's not yours. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So, folks, I want you to look at those uh, obstacles, okay? The financial, your business, your family, and your personal um, uh, you know, obstacles that get in your way from achieving your goals. All right. And then I want you to think about, we're going to discuss actually, what assets do you have that will enable you to overcome those obstacles? What assets do you have? I want you to recognize the assets that you have that help you to overcome those obstacles. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick on Stephanie since she's new. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. Hi. So okay. assets that I have? I'm sorry? The assets that I have. Yes. Um, that will help you to overcome the obstacles <laughs> that, that prevent you from achieving your goals. And number one is tenacity. I'm really tenacious. Good. Yeah. Um, confident in my abilities. Cool. Awesome. Um, independent. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And I should mention, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Okay. Uh, Peter. Well, when you said assets, I, I thought in terms of like financial assets, but I think Stephanie got gave much better answers than that. So what, what I can draw from is um, uh, the network of people I built and am building. Mm -hmm. uh, there are individuals who know my worth and can either recommend me or can be recurring customers. What else? What else? No, that's good. That's good, Peter. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, definitely uh, your your circles for sure, Adam. The biggest asset I have is myself, of course. Yeah, that would also be, you know, potentially the biggest obstacle I've had because I'm solution oriented. Um, I don't think that I have a problem with reaching the goals that I am striving towards this year. Okay. Adam's in the witness protection. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, one of the assets is and, not my and, fault, but it's okay. And we will change <laughs> his voice so he cannot be recognized. Yeah. And Adam is not his real name, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming no, yeah. in really gravelly there. I don't know if your your mic's hitting something. Yeah, but I think we, we understood what you're saying, right? I mean, yeah, you're you're definitely uh, solutions oriented, et cetera. So that's uh, that's fantastic. Okay, um, uh, Sheila. Um, I think it's um, for me, it's a bunch of people that I can actually rely on to sort of you know for me to have feedback so that they can tell me you're off track. You're not you know, you're not on track or how about this, right? So mm -hmm. accountability 
uh, core set of people. Right. Yes, absolutely. Catherine. Well, I was like um, Peter, I kind of was looking for the true term of asset, right? Which is the, something that puts money into your, your account as opposed to, but um, for me, I guess it's kind of the both. Uh, because it was, and I put down the office here, um, just simply, although it is a liability for me every month, right, to pay it out, it becomes an asset because when I'm here, my networking and, and my circle um, is solid and that's what drives me forward. So that's that's my asset. Wonderful. Cool. I'll take that as a compliment, Catherine. Uh, it's Jackie. I don't see it. Um, mine are very similar. I have a very strong support system, an accountability coach, a sense of commitment, making the decision and, you know, going with it, regardless of how it plays out in front of me. And I have self-hypnosis. Uh, self-hypnosis. Okay. Wow. Well, I, I see a whole presentation on that, uh, Jackie. Um, okay, Terry. Okay, very similar. I have a team of people that I'm surrounded with that definitely keep me on track. Um, mm -hmm. with, I have an accountability group every day at 11 o'clock with a top senior vice president. I did that the last seven months, made a huge difference, and I've got that in place already. And I have structures in place, so um, my goals, my structures are going to keep me into my goals just automatically happening because of the structures I have in place. Okay. And... Um, keeping my goals out front. I find when I'm not excited, I look back. So mm. I'm always making sure I have big things in front of me to keep me looking forward. When I forget what I'm looking forward to, I kind of revert to looking back and, and looking back is, is not what I need to do. do That's absolutely powerful. Yeah. That awesome. was great. I appreciate that. That's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Maggie. Um, well, my natural talents for writing, that's one asset. And also just being um, around people, even if it's online, like we are now, um, that helps me so much with the energy. You know, mm -hmm. kind of just, even to the point of just getting up to get out of bed, you know, to come to a meeting. You know, I've got three during the week that, that are like eight o'clock in the morning. So, you know, that, that helps me. That gives me a reason. Otherwise, I'll sleep in. Like, I'll tell you right now, my sleep patterns are so screwed up right now. <laughs> so yeah. I agree. Sleeping in and that. So, but no, that just the networking groups is really helps me a lot. Awesome. Okay. I, I'm hoping Thomas is there. Thomas, you're around? Good morning, everybody. Hey. Um, happy New Year's real quick. Just, I know I jumped on late, so happy New Year, everybody. Um, so my assets are, well, first of all, it's this group. I mean, that's in other networking groups. I mean, you guys are, um, are a huge asset just, to you know, being around, it helps me out. Um, also I just refuse to quit. Like personally, it doesn't matter how negative I'm in or how rough like, I I've always, people always tell me, I just don't know how to die kind of thing. Like, I don't know how to quit. And I feel like I don't know how to throw in the towel. Um, I'm just too stubborn to do that. So I think that's part of it for better or worse. That's part of uh, one of my, you know, some people call it an asset, others might not. But um, that has gotten me in and out of a lot of situations. And I just think that it's, it's one of those things that will always be there for me to help out. So uh, outside of groups uh, like, like this one and others that I'm uh, locally involved in, I, I just think that, yeah, that's another huge asset is I just refuse to throw in the towel. So brilliant. I love it. Thank you. Stephanie Thomas. called that tenacity, Thomas, not, not stubbornness, but tenacity. Yeah, that's right. All right, Teresa, you're around. Yeah. Um, so my, um, I'm not really sure what my gifts would be, but I just keep going like Thomas. <laughs> I, guess. I, just, I just keep looking for what I want to do next. And then I just keep going and, and try to not um, really put any obstacles in front of my path, because we all know that there's enough of those 
uh, without getting ourselves in the way. Um, and just looking at the people that are around myself and the business that we have and just knowing that we're all in it to um, help each other and to move each other forward. So, you know, it, it is accountability to, you know, wake up every morning and see everyone's faces and know that, you know, we're all in here to create more business and become more successful for each other and ourselves. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well, think about this. I want you guys to think about this and thank you everybody for sharing. Um, you know, uh, I've, I've, I've gotten motivated just by listening to you uh, share what, you know, your assets are like, I love it, but I want you to think about this. So um, I think Peter was the one who said, you know, I'm not, I wasn't sure where you're going with this whole asset thing, but I want you to think about it. What assets do you have that will enable you to overcome obstacles? Now, I heard a lot of personal ones, right? That's great, beautiful, personal assets, love it. But I want you to consider also family assets, business assets, and financial assets, right? There's, there's, there's um, you know, internal fortitude and all those other things that are fantastic um, and very, very necessary oh, because without that, you know, all the other assets don't matter. But I want you to think about all of the, the, uh, the assets that you have around you. Because, you know, as small businesses, this is going to sound shocking to people like Terry. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Terry. I'm not picking it yet. But um, as a small business, sometimes we just get bummed out, right? Sometimes we just get bummed out. Sometimes we just think, oh, the future is murky, right? Um, usually it lasts for a very short period of time. But, but during those periods of time, it kind of feels real. And so sometimes we just need to remind ourselves that, yeah, we have what it takes personally, but we also have support. We also have, you know, we also have the assets, you know, of a small business that has launched immediately becomes the fact that you're, you've already launched. You've taken that step. That's a big asset. That's a big plus, right? That's something in your favor. Um, you know, if you've been around for a year, you know, then, you, you know, you've made it a year. That means there's a lot of people who know who you are uh, and what you do, right? It becomes easier, right? Um, because everybody knows. Remember the first time, uh, Terry, I'm going to pick on you again. The first time when you said, okay, I'm in, and then you got to go out and build your team, right? It's yeah. tough starting, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But then once you get one person in your team, then you have a problem, right? The first thing is, okay, now I'm committed. <laughs> I, I've been working here. <laughs> this is, you know, it becomes tougher responsibility, right? But the key is that there are a lot of other things around you to support you. And this year, this year, you know, this year could go either way, right? I mean, this year can see that, uh, you know, um, that Omicron uh, creates herd immunity by the end of February, and we're all maskless by the end of March, right? Who knows, right? Or, you know, another variant comes along in May and we're locked down by July. We have no idea, right? And the longer lockdowns happen, the more businesses that support what we do go out of business, right? So the future for everybody except for MLMs is murky, right? <laughs> right? It's tough. So we just don't know. Uh, and so this is where we need to remind ourselves, you know, when discouragement comes, which it comes for everybody. It comes for me, even though, you know, I'm a pretty happy guy, but it comes for everybody. So uh, just remind yourself exactly what your assets are. Now, does anybody have any thoughts on that? Like, I know that we had a meeting about this a little while ago about how you overcome challenges and how you motivate yourself but um, any tidbits you want to share with uh with anybody about about how to to deal with those things when they come along the next lockdown and and before i even go on the you know asking the question i want to tell people everything was tough and then last year i think it was march april things started to feel good again remember remember that it started to feel like things were over and then the May lockdown came along. And I'm telling you, I heard it from a lot of businesses that it was one of the most difficult things to wrap your head around. 
that we were still in this thing. And here we are, it's January. It's January, and it's looking like more lockdowns are coming, right? So anybody's thoughts on that? Well, I would just say like resourcefulness. I have a little cute card. This keeps me on track whenever I think, okay, what, I just gotta, what can I do? I just gotta be resourceful. Like when you're a business owner, you know, we do have, a, I'm blessed to have a system that I have thousands of people that I can rely on, but I still need to be resourceful myself. So this reminds me to be resourceful. And as business owners, I'm sure that's the number one thing. What can you do? Okay, lockdown's coming. What can I do? Where can I, you know, get more business? So just resourcefulness has been the key word for me for 2021 going into 2022. I'm going to continue to be very resourceful. Cool. Anybody else? else? But yeah, definitely. Uh, you actually have a card that you set on your table. So you look at it and you go, yeah, right. I got to be resourceful. I think you're saying something, Terry, but uh, you're on mute. I'm one of these people that I, I sometimes forget what I know. <laughs> uh, most of what I learn is relearned because I've been doing this business for 24 years. But right. yeah, obviously it's changed over 24 years and it's different. Last year changed everything, but mm. I have to remind myself I have cue cards. Hmm, cool. Very helpful. All right. <laughs> Especially working online. I'm going to say that I, I learned from the MLMs, right? And that, that, um, that money, that uh, passive income, right? Once you, you've got a program in place. And so although I'm not a, a member of an MLM, I made myself an asset that keeps on giving. So I have that passive income mm -hmm. and recognizing how powerful it became. Some of it was opportunity with the, the COVID that hit in 2020 and then realizing what an asset it became and going, okay, this is a good thing. Can we keep doing it? To, uh, and with, with the assistance, getting that to, to grow. So taking that recession resilient mm -hmm. income that's always going to be there because I do have a, a product that's always going to be needed by a, a minimum workforce. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, anybody else? Anybody else on that? All right, don't be shy. It doesn't look like a shy group, though. I'll tell you that much for free. Okay, so <laughs> um, you know what I want to do is I, I do want to go around because I know that we have uh, Stephanie here, and I I want to just have everybody. So before we go around and and introduce what we do. I want you to think about, think about everybody that you know, right? Uh, some of us know more people than others, right? But think about everybody that you know. And, and when we go around and people start saying what it is that they do for a living, uh, I want you to think about, in fact, I want you to write it down. I want you to write down people that you feel could be a blessing to that person, right? People that you can possibly refer them to. And I'm not telling you to share that information over the wire here on this call, but I'm thinking that you can reach out to each other afterwards. I'm going to go ahead now that we are, I think we're pretty safe that no one from, from overseas is going to jump onto our call. So I'm going to open the chat up. And uh, so we can put our contact information in the chat window and, uh, and then just feel free you know, if, if someone says something that, that they do and you know somebody, uh, feel free to write their information down so you can reach out to them and help them. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, um, with Adam. Adam's probably thinking, of course, I'm eating a sandwich. He's going to pick on me now, you know. All right, if Adam's not there, then I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to Terry. <laughs> and you're on mute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, yes, and happy new year. So I'm, um, what do I do? I help people save money on their essential services is one thing I do. So I'm looking for anyone who's looking to just get a quote for their, uh, so I'll just name my services, cell phones, internet, home security, identity theft and computer protection, um, energy, gas and electricity. We'll stick with those five for now. So anyone who'd like to get a quote on those, I'm looking for customers, you know, our business, 80% of my business is just customers. 
Um, and then the second part, I am building a global business with um, anyone looking to make you know extra income. But really, I'm looking for customers, the year of customers. So that would be one for people. If anyone has anyone that needs those services and who would like to get a better value. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Here, okay. Carrie, can I just clarify, is that just uh, personal or is that uh, commercial as well? Um, the commercial is energy and debit and credit card machines, but the internet, cell phones, and oh, home, home, home or business security. So I guess three of them are business, two of them are residential. Thank I you. put my information in the chat. Yeah, Thank awesome. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, Sheila. Good morning. Happy New Year. Um, I'm a shopping annuity advisor. So I own an online um, digital mall. And basically, if you uh, have any kind of shopping needs, uh, whether you're buying regularly for yourself and your family, that includes all of your consumables, uh, you know, anything that you find in the washroom, anything that you find in the kitchen that are regular consumable goods, uh, you talk, speak with me about that so I can give you a little bit more insight uh, for, you know, toxin-free type of cleaners, things like that. And also the massive online mall includes all the other kinds of spending that you might have to do through the year, which is maybe a winter jacket, a laptop after two or three years, because unfortunately tech sort of up makes itself obsolete after six months of purchasing them. So somewhere along the line, you're going to have to make those purchases. But why not uh, save some money? And uh, if you're interested, then you can actually make some money through this system too. Awesome. Awesome. Um, okay, great. Uh, thank you. And, and uh, Sheila, please do drop your information into the window. Maggie. And you're on mute. <laughs> there we go. I know. I wish I know you wish I was on mute most of the time. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, as well as you know, I am a freelance writer. Uh, we all need content, uh, but not everyone wants to do their own content. That's where I can come in. Social media posts, um, blog posts, full articles, something for your newsletter or website. Travel writing, as heard earlier, is my real specialty, and I'm very much looking forward to getting back, back to that. It may not be California this year but it will be somewhere um let's say i'm looking at savannah and possibly florida uh but i can go pretty much anywhere uh so that's i'm looking forward to getting back to that i'm also planning starting a design business fashion design so that's um hopefully going to be in the future but essentially i'm a writer awesome okay mm -hmm. anybody who has a website that's uh that can't come up with stuff to write for their blogs, you know, so much pressure, right? To put a blog post every month, right? Or a week, every week, then <laughs> call Maggie for sure. Okay, Adam, you are back. All right, I was having some technical difficulties. Uh, am I coming through a little more clearly now? A, a little bit more, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's a little sketchy, but carry on. Is it? Okay, maybe I'll, uh, should I change up my mic? Is that what's going on? It might be. Yeah, try that. Sound, sounds good on my end. Sorry about this. Uh, okay, how about now? That sounds good. Sounds better? Okay. Uh, so, I am a health coach, mindset coach. I help people lose weight, feel good. Uh, I've been working in this field for about 15, 20 years in the health field, working as a personal trainer for a long time but now I'm a coach and I love coaching and the impact that I can have with people is so much greater so I am uh, I'm loving my shift into the coaching business which I've been in for about five months now solely um, I've always been a bit of a coach and as a personal trainer I was doing I always took the time to do a bit of coaching but uh, now it's my mainstay and wow, what a, what a great thing. It's so, it's so great to work with people on uh, coaching levels. I love doing one-on-ones uh, and I can't wait to get into group, group coaching this year because that's going to allow me to impact a lot more people. So yeah, looking forward to 2022, everybody. Nice to be awesome. here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. And, uh, and folks, listen, if you, uh, if you've missed the presentation by Adam and, um, and Stephanie, uh, then 
please check it out online. It, uh, it was really, really excellent. Okay, uh, Teresa, are you there? All right, in three, two, one. Okay, um, where is Jackie? Hi, everyone. Uh, I am a mindset coach and transformational trainer. So I mainly work with coaches and uh, other coaches and healers to get uh, very transformative tools into their uh, wheelhouse so that they can go out and use those with others. So in terms of referrals, I'm actually going to be launching a boundary um, sort of breakthrough giveaway type thing this month. So um, if you know anybody who are perpetual people pleasers, they give all their energy to everyone else and have no, none left at the end of the day for themselves. They have an inability to say no uh, without feeling guilty. Those are the people I'm looking for. So I will be posting more information about that. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Thomas. Morning, everybody. Um, Thomas from Greater Southwestern Group, located in Windsor, Ontario. Uh, we provide IT security and communication products and services to small, medium-sized businesses. Um, if you just need, uh, you're tired of taking care of your own technology, um, every business deserves an IT department, and that's where we come in. Uh, that's uh, you know, kind of where we're at. So I'll throw my information in the chat and uh, look forward to helping out anybody who's interested. Absolutely, and, and be sure to check out uh, Thomas on uh on um, Tech Talk, <laughs> he's, a, he's a regular contributor to Tech Talk with Catherine. So that's fantastic. Okay, uh, Peter. Uh, so I mostly help people with existing WordPress websites uh, upgrade to uh, some new capability or some custom functionality. Uh, generally, the trigger is if you need something done and a plugin or extension is not an option, you have to write your own code to achieve that. Uh, that's kind of the trigger for someone like me to help you with that. Uh, and uh, generally, I'm working with small businesses who have started their own website, have reached a certain limit, and now encountered a problem that they can't get the next level going. So that's the type of people I'm looking for. And I'll leave my information in the chat. Wonderful. All right. Thank you, Peter. All right. Yes, Catherine, I'm leaving it till last. Okay. Stephanie, <laughs> you're, you're up. Hi, I'm a body confidence coach and intuitive feeling counselor. So I work with women to help them let go of emotional and stress eating and live their most authentic, healthiest and happiest lives. I'm also a corporate yoga instructor. So I help to boost uh, employee morale and reduce team turnover um awesome. in in corporations <laughs> and i also do private yoga so awesome awesome please drop the information into the chat window and then kath and by the way welcome <laughs> uh catherine where are you right here hi there you, you are yes, welcome. welcome stephanie um hi everybody my name is catherine davies I am the Stony Creek uh, city leader, which is uh, really Ivan's right hand or left hand. I'm not, it depends what direction you're pointing, but anyway, <laughs> I guess yeah, right. it would eh? Um <clears throat> Excuse me. And then in my other life, I am the owner of Life's Emergency Training, which is a on-site first aid CPR and AED company. So we go in, uh, typically our niche is industrial and commercial. Uh, and teach their folks practical first aid. Um, you know, there's a lot of really good stuff out there, but it's not necessarily practical for the, the industrial and commercial uh, setting. So, yeah, that's what we've been doing since 2006. Uh, that is our main niche. And so we are always looking for referrals to anybody who would be the health and safety rep um, for a company or the joint health and safety team member, right? Because those are the ones that touch uh, base, but really where we want everybody to have those life skills. Awesome. Awesome. Catherine, you also uh, have an online course as well for things for folks wanting to do babysitting training, etc. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So for that passive income that I was talking about, 
right? Thank goodness for the network reminding me. Um, we have developed services, uh, products, sorry, for teens so that parents and teens can have the confidence to stay home alone. And that's going to happen more and more during these lockdowns in school, whatever uh, Mr. Ford decides there at 11 o'clock as well as babysitting courses so children can uh, start to learn to become independent uh, job uh, business owners or parents can have the confidence that they can leave multiple children at home. So yes, <laughs> yes those are both available completely online. Wonderful, wonderful. You've got your information in the chat window there. It's, yeah, uh, it's headed that way. Awesome, thank you. Teresa, you there? All right. Well, if not, then I will. So folks, and of course, most of you know me, Ivan Sutton, and I'm, you know, I guess the city leader here in Hamilton, which is one of the greatest cities on the planet. I don't know if you know that yet. Next to Windsor, of course, right? <laughs> Very, uh, anyway, listen, um, I, I want to thank everyone here, the members, uh, the visitors, etc. cetera. Uh, this year, we are looking to to um, you know quadruple our numbers uh, for the network. So I want to thank those that are city leaders. I know that we have two city leaders here. Uh, Jackie, welcome back. I thought we might have lost you to Lethbridge. This great city, Lethbridge. No, yeah. it was way too cold out there. No, they're gonna have to show me a de a decent weather at, at Christmas before I move out there. Yeah, so, so it's nice to have you back. Uh, Jackie's the city leader for uh, for Barry. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, Thomas down there in Windsor. Woohoo. So that's wonderful. Thank you very much. So uh, folks, uh, I'm looking for referrals also and businesses that can, uh, that can benefit from our awesome network, our warm, loving, referring, growing, building network. So definitely refer them. You know, we have, um, uh, we have a few incentives on right now. I think you get a, you get a shirt for free. Right. Oh, you know, sorry, you got a choice between the shirt, come on, and the spanky mug. Isn't that nice? Who doesn't want the mug? Anyway, so oh, definitely sorry. refer them. They're <laughs> a good size mug, too. They mm -hmm. are a good size mug. There's 16 ounces for people who really yeah. appreciate a good Yeah, Roshan did a good, great job on those. Yeah. For sure. So, so definitely refer because you know we have a lot of things coming up this year. We also want to also want to promote the fact that we have um, there's some really good pro programming on. Um, of course, Tech Talk, which is always exciting and, and, and excellent to be a part of, and of course uh, the investing real estate investing with Yuri Nesbitt. Those two things are fantastic uh, if you take part in them, and um, and just understand that our our um, our programming is really to have folks interacting like this, you know, ha having conversations about general things, because it helps you to get to know people better, right? It actually helps to increase referrals, because you are, you're getting to know the people. So the more that you're involved, the more that you're, you're, uh, you're hanging out and chatting with people, etc., then the more you get referred. Uh, you know, it's based on the principle of relationships, right? <laughs> Hard to have a long, a long distance relationship, you know, if you're not seeing the person regularly. So, um, and it's based on marketing principles, which is the principle of impressions, right? Uh, the more impressions, the greater the likelihood is of you making a buy decision. And so the more often that people see you, the, the better the results. So this is how we're, we're built. This is what our, our focus is. And we would love to see you grow. So also, the Women's Business Club. Um, we have a Women's Business Club that started um, in the uh, fall of last year. And it's uh, looking to launch, I, I think, uh, this week? Nope, 13th. Next the 13th. Week. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a Women's Business Club, okay? Cut me some slack. Anyway, so, but... <laughs> yeah, he, he never <laughs> understand it anyway, but... You know. <laughs> That's right. Because I'm from Mars, right? By the way, <laughs> is anybody going to visits? No. No, anyway, I'm just... Teasing. I got it. No Elon Musk jokes here, but um, so the Women's Business Club, definitely check with uh, Catherine or Teresa if you're interested Jackie. in joining the business, the, the Women's Business Club. It's very, very cool. And, uh, and then we have a marketing series coming up at the end of February. It starts at the end of February. That's going to go for, um, for four weeks. And Jackie, uh, I know that the, um, the business coaches are working on, on something that, uh, that's coming up to help 
small business people be more accountable. Uh, so we'll have uh, information <laughs> on on that. Mm. You know, and, and we're calling all coaches every all coaches we'd like them to be involved to be able to service the uh, the needs of the uh, the members and then the last thing is what was the last thing oh yeah hey we have we're testing an online training platform so members if you would like to put together an online training course whether it's a free course or a a not free course, then you can, you'll have access to that. So we're building it out. Um, and then you folks can just go in there and put your courses on there. Uh, and of course uh, it gets the benefit of our promotions, et cetera. So um, it might be a cool way for you to generate some residual income as well. So it's there for our members to use and, and let's see how this thing evolves. All right. So if anybody has any questions about anything that we're doing, then you can either easily reach out to me, um, Ivan. Uh, I put my information in the chat window. And, um, and by all means, you know, don't be shy about referring your colleagues and friends. Okay. So thank you, everybody. Hope you have an amazing day. This was a good discussion. Thank you. Are we uh, carrying on or no? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we can hang out. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Because enough of us, right? Yeah, the conversation we can go for the 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 uh, the deep dive for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know about anybody else, but that last one we did was like flipping amazing. Yeah, it yeah. helped me, but it was totally. It was amazing. You know? Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get uh, Stephanie and Adam in a room together. Sorry, uh, you, you get uh, Jackie and Adam in a room together. Yeah. And yeah. They start pulling people apart. And next thing you know, we start crying and holding hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not what happens. No. <laughs> no. But it, 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 yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. You know, it's funny because at the open house, uh, you know, which Jackie missed, it was really awesome, too. I found that Deep. that brainstorm that we had there, I love it when we mm. brainstorm ideas, right? Yeah, because you got to do the survey right there, right? So, um, you know, Yuri was saying about how like there were just he wanted to be involved in all the calls that just he was working too right and so I said well then what's your solutions and everybody came out with with answers for Ivan and it was like amazing yeah and you know what else came out of it uh, we brainstormed the idea that um, you know for members so, so everybody knows that members of this great city you get two hours a year to come down and use our office, right? You get to come on in here and just have a touchdown space that you can work, right? Um, but outside of that, it's, uh, I think it's $10 or $15 uh, for the day to, to be able to come down and use the space, right? Non-members, of course, it's, uh, I think it's $25 for the day. But the point is, is that uh, that idea, the collaborative space idea we've been thinking about for some time, but it was only when Jen, another coach, came here on <laughs> at our our open house that we actually fleshed it out and um and it's something that we're actually implementing for the start of next month so uh it's pretty exciting how collaboration and brainstorming with people that are like-minded you know unstoppable yeah, pretty amazing yeah that was amazing all right so any any questions before i cut I'm learning about these security <laughs> features because everybody knows that uh, that we got um, we had a surprise group of visitors. We were swarmed, <laughs> and uh, and they uh, they caused a little bit of havoc. And I wasn't even sure what was going on. Right? I mean, it was so so weird. Like people showed up and started, uh, you know, saying things about one of our members. Uh, and the thing was that. They, they called themselves the same name as another person that was in the group. So, of course, as if she said something that she didn't say. And so, of course, the guy said, hey, so-and-so, what do you mean when you say this uh, terrible thing about the size of, of his body parts? And, and you know, it was, uh, it was a shocker. You know, so by the time I figured it out, I'm like, oh my goodness. I felt like I was like, um, you know, Khan in Wrath of Khan. Like, where, where's the override? Where's the override? <laughs> so <laughs> it was quite funny, but, uh, you know, I thought, okay, at that point. Actually, I thought, I actually, that one wasn't as bad as one of my other groups. All of a sudden there was a, pic a picture of male body parts. 
So, yeah. So I, I, I did have yeah, a guy yeah. show up. I, I did have a guy show up. And I'm not talking call. about his hand or his, you know. No, we get you. We're I, I, I feel you. I feel you. Um, <laughs> you know, we did have a guy show up once on one of our calls and he did show up naked. He did have himself naked. But for some reason, you know, he must have felt guilty. Noticed. I don't know. He, uh, he he then you know covered himself with his hand, right? I mean, anyway, no comments on that. And he uh, he shut off his camera, and then he left the meeting. I thought, what a polite you know hacker, <laughs> but nobody saw it. You must have uh, realized he was in the wrong room. He yeah. might have. He might have. <laughs> I, mean, maybe I, I can't deny that when I first joined, I may very well have been in a bathing suit with a sarong around me or, and I've definitely been in on little summer dresses, but you know, but <laughs> I don't see that. I don't see you as a hacker. I, think, no, I, think I wouldn't know how. <laughs> yeah. I think, hey, but, I but, but anyway, so, so I, I started to look into the security features of, uh, of zoom. Right. And they have a lot of lockdown things where you can't even, you can't do anything. <laughs> so, uh, I, I try to, uh, because the problem is if you write something in the chat window, right, I can't delete it. So if you say screw off to everybody, uh, then that stays in that chat window until people put enough comments that it moves up, but it stays there, right? You can't delete it. And, you know, you can you can imagine that you jump onto a Zoom call for a business call and, uh, and you look in the chat window and you see curse words and you're thinking, what? This is probably the wrong group for me. So... So my apologies for that. So I will definitely send this out to everybody.